Hey guys, sorry I look kind of bad, but I just finished the video and hopefully it answers all the questions you guys had about my favorite. And the first part is like all you guys need and then I decided to do like a break it down, especially if you're a beginner and you want to practice or if you want to practice from home or you can pause the video and then I have the sheet music playing as well. I also have the sheet music down below. The bass clef of the sheet music is the timpani part. I also have um, me playing with the metronome at 80, 120, 160, and 200. So if you want to play along or practice up to those tempos, I have all those timestamps down below. Hopefully this is useful for you guys and you guys are able to to practice and be able to play my favorite at home. It's very simple. You're just going to go up every other scale, down every other scale in the chromatic scale order. So the regular chromatic scale is the order of the scales you're going to do. However, C is going to go up, D flat is going to go down, D is going to go up, E flat is going to go down, all the way until you get to C, where you're going to turn around your scales. And then you're going to end up doing B going up, B, B flat going down, and so on and so on, opposite. Okay, so I'm just going to play it through once and then stop at the turning point to explain the 7-8. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. So you're going to go up C, the C scale, down the D flat scale, up D, down E flat. just finished doing the B scale down right however once I went to do my C I did a 7 8 measure which all that means is that I am gonna play 7 8 notes in that measure um and those 7 8 notes is only is different than all the other ones because the C turns around and we, we don't play C twice at the top so from doing the um, B scale we're gonna go straight into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then go back to normal where we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just as the regular timing that we were doing. So one more time, what I did is that I had just finished going up and down every other scale until I was going down the B scale. Then I did it seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Turn around, four, and then B up, B flat down. Okay, so now I'm going to do it all together without any pauses. So it went B down, C up, C down. I said as I'm just gonna break it down into sections so you can really like learn each part and follow along okay. so if this is your first time learning it or maybe you are relearning it the best way to practice this exercise is by going up or down the correct scale and as soon after as you finish doing that scale play the note of the next scale and then play that scale and land on the note of the next scale, then put those parts together. So let me show you. So you would go up the C scale and land on the D flat. Then from the D flat, you would go down and land on the B. And then if you put those parts together, it would help you get a better flow of how to go. So you go C. to up the D scale. And then 
next chord would be down the E flat scale. So then if you would put those two parts together that we just did, so the D and then down the E flat. And then you would put all of it together. So that is like the best way I would say for you to practice to go slowly. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's going to take a while, but what I will do is I'm going to go through five scales at a time and um, pause a little bit between each scale, even though that wouldn't be good for the flow, but I'm pausing because I'm also putting the sheet music. So if you are lost and you want to see like a specific scale or why isn't your sticking working on that scale, um, you can pause the video and then look at the scale uh, for you to see that. Okay, so I'm going to start with a C and just do five scales. C scale going up. D flat scale going down. E going up. E flat going down. E going up. And then you're going to land on the F, which would be your next scale. Okay. So the next five scales would start with the F on your left hand going down. So F going down, B flat going up or F sharp, G going down, A flat going up, A going down, And then the B flat would be your next scale. So the next five scales is where the turnaround is. So the turnaround is going to be going B flat going up. So B flat going up is B going down is going to be C going up and turning around immediately after. So it's going to be C going up. Do the B flat, so I went ahead to. So that was those first five. So I'm gonna actually clarify that a little better. So we just came from doing B flat up and then B going down, and we got to the C part. Now, the C part, there's a 7 8 in it, and the only reason that it is 7 8 is because we do an immediate turnaround, we don't land on the C twice. So there's gonna be seven eighth notes in that measure rather than the total eight notes we've been having. So what's going to happen is they're going to go C, which is seven notes, and then you're going to start over again and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and then continue. So I'm going to do that five section, that five scale section again, starting from B flat and landing on the B after the turnaround. So start with your right hand going up from the B flat. Then you're going to go down the B. Then you're going to go 7, 8, the 7, 8 measure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you're going to go down the C. And then up the B again. So that is it. So I'm going to put it all together um, without the pauses, just so you see how it's actually supposed to sound like, but I'm still going to do it slow. So you would have the B flat, B, C, C, B, and then would be the, next, the B flat would be the next note. So those were those five. You might have to go back and rewatch that. That is the turnaround. The next five are going to be, since you just finished doing, it's going to be with the B flat here. So you're going to go down the B flat this time. Then you're going to go up the A. Down the A flat. Up the G. G flat and then those were the next five now the last five are gonna be starting 
with the F, okay? So F, down the E, up the E flat, down the D, up the D flat, and then now you're going to do this the C scale down and up, just like the turnaround from before. So you're just gonna go C, C, which would be an octave you want to do afterwards that's going on. The next part of this video is playing it at different tempos. So the first one is at 80 with a metronome. One thing to know about when it's playing at 80 is that once you do the turnaround with a seven, eight, if your metronome is on quarter notes, which mine is on quarter notes, then after the 7-8, your, your metronome is technically going to play on your tays. If you're thinking of saying that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is actually 1 tay, 2 tay, 3 tay, 4 tay, your metronome is going to end up being on the tays because of the 7-8. That might be a little confusing, but maybe just watch it with the um, metronome. And then if you have any more questions, please ask me. And then hopefully you can follow along with the higher tempo. C. B flat. 